got back as quickly as he did but you know he's he's one of the big three when you look at Philadelphia offensively and what they like to do they get the ball to A.J. Brown Devontae Smith and then Dallas Goddard I think that's a problem that's an issue <laughs> that's Landon Dickerson Pro Bowl guard from a year ago part of this outstanding offensive line you would kind of expect to see a penalty somewhere wouldn't you John when uh, someone's face mask is hanging <laughs> off like that that's twice we've seen that this year <laughs> Well, they, they were they were at the ready. They just don't make those things the way they used to, do they? <laughs> Second down and five. <laughs> They're without Cam Jurgens, who does not make the start at right guard with a peck issue, dangerous throw, and a good catch by Devontae Smith, who's ripped to the ground by Artie Burns, and a loss of one. And now a little bit slow to get up is Devontae Smith. Well, you see the, the catch that he's able to make. You're right. I mean, a dangerous throw, and if it weren't for A.J. Brown being able to at least shield the throw and protect it a little bit, you got Michael Jackson right there to make a play. But, you know, here the Eagles are with another third down. Dickerson back in the lineup on third down and six. It would be a 57-yard field goal try from this spot. Timeout, Philadelphia. So the Eagles come in having lost a couple in a row. The Seahawks have lost four straight for the first time in Pete Carroll's 14 seasons. There's Nick Sirianni. He has done with a couple of Hall of Fame coaches didn't do when they began their careers as the Eagles head coach talking about Andy Reid and the great Dick Vermeil is. The Eagles have stamped their ticket to the playoffs for the third season in a row and Pete Carroll he's only missed the playoffs three times they are on the edge right now of either hanging in or falling away and tonight is a game they need. Well you're not kidding and, and the season looked so promising four weeks ago when they were at six and three and things were humming along pretty well and it's been a real struggle having dropped the last four this makes this game tonight extremely important for them. Devontae Smith able to continue after the timeout third down and six over the middle that pass is caught and that's big A.J. Brown he's got a first down and hard to bring down a gain of 11 on third and six and six one 226 pounds tough to tackle well they worked that area of the field where we saw Dallas Goddard right there at the linebacker level just past the chains for the first down and a pretty simple for A.J. Brown, he just comes off the ball. He gets past the, the marker that he needed to reach and turns around. The ball's on him and a first down. Jalen Hurts has started four for four. He hands off here. That's Gainwell spinning down inside the 25 as he picks up five. Julian Love on the tackle. You know, I think part of this for Philadelphia is really getting this running game going because it has not been particularly good here in the last couple of weeks. They've not been able to get DeAndre Swift going. Kenneth Gainwell and with this offensive line I mean it's such a strength one of the best in all of football maybe the best here's Gainwell again with a first down for Philadelphia and one note for the Seahawks on defense Reek Woolen a pro bowler a year ago as a rookie has not had any snaps yet for Seattle Michael Jackson has taken his spot Woolen not on the injury report. So from the sideline he watches with Philadelphia first and ten hurts keeps flips Goddard and that was well played is out there Trey Brown made that stop no game that was played very well by Trey Brown because they're kind of hiding Goddard over there a little bit on that boundary and it was by design that you know if everybody comes up tries to make a play then on Jalen Hurts as he comes around that edge. Yeah, he's going to pitch it out then to Goddard, but Trey Brown wasn't fooled at all. Seattle already without Jamal Adams in their secondary and Devin Witherspoon, their outstanding rookie corner. Reek Woolen not out there, and it's second and nine for Philly. Swift blocking in front of him inside the 10, third and short coming up. 
It's a good job of execution in this offensive line. Jordan Mailata, the big left tackle, he gets out there as well. They pull him, and uh, he's as, a, as athletic a big man as there is in, in all of football. So we've seen some of that quick passing, getting the ball out, and that brings them to a, a third and three here. And, and you go back a couple of weeks ago against San Francisco when they did a good job early in that game of moving the ball, and they just failed to come away with touchdowns in the red zone. And once San Francisco got it going, that was a big difference there in that game, especially early. And off to Gainwell, and he's got a first down. He got it by about a yard. A pickup of four. Jordan Brooks made the stop, and it's first and goal for the Eagles, who are trying to cap off what is an impressive first possession of the night. Pretty good start here for Kenneth Gainwell. He's gotten the, the carries here on this opening drive. He started the season as the starter week one. Here he is spinning. Got a yard. Mario Edwards made that play as he got penetration up front for the Seattle defense. A defense that comes in ranked 28th overall. Second down and goal. Gain well out. DeAndre Swift in the backfield next to Hurts. He gets it and goes nowhere. That play made by Julian Love as he crashed down to make the tackle in his third and goal. Yeah, that was a good job defensively by Seattle because Julian Love is there and they also had they also had support here on the edge in case Jalen Hurts kept the ball. So they had both the dive back and the quarterback accounted for. Eagles three for three on third down attempts. Hurts trying to take it in. Diving for the touchdown. And the many Eagle fans in attendance here tonight have to love what they saw from their offense first possession of the game. Well, they got man coverage on the receivers, and so they're run off, and they're not able to get back into the play on time. But you're going to see Mylotta and then Kelsey. Mylotta is able to try to pin the edge. Kelsey comes, and he helps secure it. And then Jalen Hurts. Let's take a look here and see whether or not the ball crossed the plane before the knee's down. No, he's... Well, he's not contacted. It, it wasn't contacted yet. Looked like he looked like he did cross the goal line. Yeah, he is not diving. He's not giving himself up. I see it as a stumble. So it, until he's touched, it's a live ball. And touchdown is the result as they verify that up above. And in New York and all points in between. And a 7-0 Philadelphia lead. And that drive, they covered 75 yards, 15 plays, and eight and a half minutes. Eagles on top. Really impressive opening drive, and the majority of the yards picked up on the ground, including the touchdown run by Jalen Hurts, the 39th career touchdown run for Hurts. Elliott will kick it away. DJ Dallas, you see, waiting for it for Seattle on that drive hurts five for five throwing it to carry 16 yards in the touchdown run from three yards away. That was a good job coming out establishing the line of scrimmage and running the football and kind of getting back to old school Philadelphia ball. Well Drew Locke makes back to back starts. Geno Smith and taken every start since taking over after the Russell Wilson trade until last week in the loss at San Francisco. That's Gino bundled up on this cold night. You saw the numbers in the career for Drew Locke. Told us it felt amazing being back out there. He's grown up a lot over the last year plus, and we'll see how he gets along against this Eagles defense. First and 15, thanks to a false start. Ball start. Offense number 89. Five yard penalty. 
first down. That's supposed to happen to the visiting team here in Seattle, not the home team, and it's first and 15. Well, unfortunately for Seattle, they've they've just had way too many penalties all season long. Second most penalized team in football. Offensively, they're the fourth most penalized, and you come out to take your first snaps of the ball game after being down 7-0, and you have a false start. Not good. It's Disley in motion. He was guilty of the false start lock. Walker and Kenneth Walker is ripped to the ground by Nicholas Morrow after a gain of three. Shane Waldron is the offensive coordinator. He and Drew Locke will try to figure out how to beat this Eagles defense. They are great on the outside with Lockett and DK Metcalf and a good rookie in Jackson Smith and Jigba. Second down and 12. They hand a Walker. And Kenneth Walker gets back to the original line of scrimmage plus one. It's going to be third down and long for Drew Locke. Well, we wonder what Matt Patricia might be doing defensively there on, on second down, anticipating run. He goes five.